and welcome to Hunt to Eat. My name is Claude and I'm your host today. Normally I do these uh, presentations in Danish because I'm from Denmark, but um, I've decided to try to do them in English so I can get a wider audience. Today I'm going to talk about this scope from Pulsar. It's the Thermion Duo DXP50. So let's uh, take a look at the box and uh, what's inside. Quite sturdy box, as usual from Pulsar. Thermion Duo DXP Multispectral Thermal Rifloscope. Inside, thank you for choosing Pulsar, Digital Daylight and Thermal Imaging Technologies. We are very excited to welcome you to the proud family of hunters, experts, adventurers and thrill seekers. Whether it's day or night, fog or rain, Pulsar is here to help you see what really lies beyond the sight of the naked eye. Inside, a quick start guide in six different languages. Also a quick start guide for the Stream Vision 2 app and the warranty card. And we have a travel bag for the microscope. Inside course we have the multispectral rifle scope we have a USB cable USB C to USB A or you can just take off this small adapter so now we've got USB C to USB C Then we got the battery, ASP2 battery pack with a protective cover. Got the uh, rubber eyepiece. Power adapter. The uh, ASP3 battery cover, so you can also use the ASP3 battery in this rifle scope. And then we got a charging stand for the batteries. And lastly, small lens cleaning cloth. So let's talk a little bit about the data of the Pulsar Thermion Duo DXP50. Firstly, I'm just going to put on the rubber eyepiece. So the size is 420 times 78 times 83.6 millimeters. In inches, it is 16.54 times 307 times 329. The weight is 960 grams or 33.86 ounces with the battery. The uh, Termion Duo DXP50 is uh, IPX7 protected, so that means you can actually submerge it into one meter of water for 30 minutes. It's also equipped with Wi-Fi, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, the B, G, N and AC standards. The built-in video and image recorder resolution is uh, 1024 times 768 pixels. The images are stored in JPEG and the video is uh, MP4. The built-in memory is 16 gigabytes. So the Pulsar Thermion Duo DXP50 is actually equipped with two batteries. There's an internal battery, an ASP5 with the 4900 mAh, and then you have the APS2 with 2000 mAh. Quite easy to load it. Just remove the top cover here, and then you might see that there's some different uh, recesses here inside the, uh, the scope and it fits here with the battery. So it's just a matter of turning it until it'll go down, take the cover, 
put it on and then turn it to lock it. The battery life is about 6 hours at uh, 22 degrees centigrade. The operating temperature is uh, minus 25 to plus 50 centigrade or in US terms minus 13 to 122 Fahrenheit. So starting here at the rubber eyepiece, the eye relief is 50 millimeters or 1.96 inches. The diopter adjustment goes from minus 3 to plus 5. The display uh, inside here is an AMOLED display, shows the image uh, with a 1024 times 768 pixel resolution and the frame rate is 50 hertz. Then continuing down here on the scope, we have three buttons here. We have a mode button, a record button and a zoom button. Then we come to the rifle scope ring. The size is 30 millimeters. Here on the side, we have a USB-C charging port. The battery compartment that I just showed you and a controller wheel with an enter button. Inside the, uh, the scope here, uh, we have a color palette going from white hot to black hot to red hot to rainbow, then ultramarine, red monochrome, sepia and violet. Then on the side here, you also have a lens focus that is for the Thermal sensor is on both sides and you also have the on and off button, the blue one that is known from uh, Pulsar. So the front lens size is 50 millimeters with an f-stop of 1.0. The digital electro-optical uh, has a size of 17 millimeters with an f-stop of 4.34. The Thermion Du DXP50 is equipped with a 2 to 16 times zoom. So that's a zoom factor of 8. The field of view at 100 meters is 21.8 meters or 12.4 degrees. The detection distance for deer is 1800 meters or 1968 yards. The resolution for the thermal sensor is 640 times 480 pixels. And for the digital sensor, it is 3840 times 2160 pixels. The pixel pitch is 17 microns. One of the most important parameters characterizing the quality of a thermal sensor is the noise equivalent temperature difference, or NetD. This describes its thermal sensitivity. This parameter is measured in millikelvin and denotes when the temperature value signal is equal to the noise signal. For this unit, the net D is less than 25 millikelvin, so that is minus 0 0.025 degrees centigrade or 31.955 Fahrenheit in difference. So the Thurman Duo is also equipped with a stereometric rangefinder, and the click range at 100 meters is 4250 millimeters, both horizontal and vertical. The max recoil on rifle weapons is 6000 joules. And there is 10 different reticles inside. Seven of them are non-scalable and three of them are scalable. Let's look at the reticles. Starting out with the D50i, small cross, nothing fancy about this. Uh, all reticle parameters apply to all magnifications. C50i, a little bit more advanced. You have a circle on the outside of the cross. The X54i, you have the cross, a circle, and a larger cross. H50i, small cross in the middle, and then a larger cross on the outside. X50i, small cross in the middle, a thin cross on the outside, and then a thicker cross uh, on the edges. So the T54, now you can see the small cross in the middle is gone and you only got uh, three poles uh, that you can use for aiming. Almost look like a old iron sight. The M58i, now you have a uh, more, uh, what should we say, maybe not tactical, but at least you got a lot of more um, availability for measuring stuff. 
in mils. The X51FI-300 is a scalable reticle. So this means that it will follow the zoom of the, uh, of the unit. Uh, it's really good at measuring distances up to 2 and 300 meters uh, using either a fox, roadie or wild boar body. Um, and you can see all the, uh, the numbers here on the, on the screen. The M56FI is also scalable. Again, you also have the mils to measure the distance. So the M57FI is almost the same as the M56FI. You just have a little bit more wiggle room in measuring distances, as you can see here. So that's the last of the 10 verticals. So this is all that I have to tell you about this thermal rifle scope from Pulsar, the Thurman Duo DXP50. I have to say that I'm quite impressed with it, both the electro-optical sensor, but especially with the thermal sensor. I like the clarity and the level of detail both of them gives me. I also like the picture-in-picture -picture function, where you can either do electro-optical thermal or thermal electro-optical. You decide. There are just so many ways of using this uh, rifle scope here. In the future, I'm going to write an article about this uh, in uh, one of the Danish hunting magazines, so uh, please uh, stay tuned. Thank you for watching this uh, presentation of the Thermion Duo DXP50. It's in English, it's not my first language, so please bear with me with all my uh, misspoken words. I know there's a ton of them, uh, and uh, you should just see all the bloopers that I made. Uh, it's uh, totally crazy. Um, but um, I hope you'll continue following me, or if you're not a subscriber, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button. This is all for me from this time. Until next time, see you and take care.